Hey everybody, I'm back and feeling good. I'm entering my, my hyperbolic Super Auto Pets new weekly, by the way, time chamber. And um, I'm, I'm excited and I'm ready to game. We are going away next week, which means that this weekly, we're probably going to record too much of this weekly because we need videos to come out while I'm not here. I'd be like a wrinkled slacker. You know you're getting old when, when you do the eyebrow raise. You almost feel like you could play like a song on the chords of your wrinkles. I've got a particularly wrinkly forehead. I think there's a couple of... Th I'm not just getting involved in copium here. Okay, you're a great unit. Um, I think one of the reasons that I have a particularly wrinkly forehead is um, because I've been known since childhood to go like this a lot to raise my eyebrows. And then I think on top of that, just the, the baldness means there's no delineation between the, the this and the that, you know? So the wrinkles stand out a little bit more. I, I would definitely say, I've, for my age, I've got an above average wrinkly forehead. But you know what? If you work hard, you could find yourself in the same boat in, in some length of time. I don't know how long, but some length of time. Um, door head ain't kind of good. What I've seen this week, this week is kind of like a weird weekly from what I played on my phone yesterday, which was like two runs um, that I remember almost nothing about. There's a lot of hurt triggers that like spawn trumpets. There's a lot of like trumpet enablers in the late game, which is why I'm semi interested in the idea that possibly like an elephant could do something for us. Probably not at the front, but um, but otherwise, you know, we, I mean, if we're going to be playing a lot of it, we might as well just figure it out for ourselves. There's there's a few animals in this pack that I've like almost never used, which means they've probably like almost never shown up in previous weeklies, um, and I'll probably misuse them. And not that much in the way of of scalers either, which always makes for like an interesting dynamic. How about? I don't. I mean, I like an orca. We don't really have anything that pays off. Or sorry, a whale. We don't have anything that really pays off with the summon yet. But keep them frozen for a minute. On hurt, gain two trumpets. So this is what I was talking about. Maybe we sell the ladybug rather than take another level. Freeze you. Freeze you. Roll once. It's a little crazy, but like feed you garlic. So you give two extra HP to the guinea fowl. And then I want both of you to have garlic as well. And the doorhead ant is just kind of chilling for now. So I don't know if we're, we're really trying to build a, a trumpet build, but that's kind of like what I'm looking at for the time being. I, I, there's no earthly way of knowing just uh, where we are going, I believe is what Willy Wonka said. And I've always thought that that's a philosophy that's worth living by. Um, I also think anti-summon can go pretty hard this week. I do, I do, I swear to you. This would be an interesting opportunity to maybe get a rare scaler out there, throw out like a dragonfly, and then ensure that your uh, elephant takes the buff, and then this is gonna sound nutty. There was a part of me that thinks you like sell the snail so it doesn't steal the buff, but we, we went without it and I feel okay. So right now, I think at level one, this strategy is probably not very good because we're not really generating like a, a huge return on our on our trumpets. But if we can get the guinea fowl to level two or like start scaling it a little bit better, we got a chance. It's, it's still early. I would sell, buy. You probably are the best person to make more defensive because you give us the guaranteed hurt triggers. Of course, Hippo can do something. Um, I'm now deviating from Doorhead Ant, which is going to drive you crazy. But let's go all in on this trumpet attempt with the antelope. And will it work? I honestly have no idea, but we, really we shouldn't have a pug on the team. We probably should have gotten rid of the pug instead of the Doorhead Ant, but here we are. <laughs> I've made a, I've made some mistakes, allegedly speaking. But we're going to spit out quite the dog. Quite the 8-8 dog that's then going to get destroyed. Not looking great right now. Um, get rid of you. Pop you in. Pop you up at the front. Garlic on you, maybe. 
probably work towards getting a level instead. We, we might be going down a lethal, but there's a hidden benefit there. There's a stealth benefit, and that's that you'll be going up against other squads that are on lethal, which might actually be like a blessing for us. Holy cow, are you seeing this? Are you Ooh, we killed him though. <laughs> we got too strong. You're, ma you're making me kill my own squad. Why would you do that? You're gonna do three damage to somebody? Okay, we actually managed to pull out a win there. But you don't really need garlic because you get hit like multiple times. Yeah, maybe the garlic on you is not that relevant. Scorpion's always good, but we're, again, we're on like a different track right now. We're doing something completely different. Now, of note, there is chocolate, but no pills. So we can't just get a cheesy like walrus payout. I'm gonna do this anyway. Oh, but now only uh, one of you per dragonfly is getting the buff because we got it. Okay, I understand. I understand. Uh, they, we must be doing something right because they got their own uh, guinea fowl set up. We're going to be summoning quite the dog, though. I'll tell you that. Are you, are you hearing the pitch of this trumpet? The innocent streamers? Not me. I'm guilty. First degree uh, beating your squad. Two friends faint, give the nearest friends a head, plus three, plus three. Go ahead. I'm not gonna give you broccoli, it's just, it's too late in the game for me to be stoked about broccoli. No salads, please. Another elephant, I would, I would add it. We could give a donut to somebody to ensure that they get the random buffs, but... 16, 16 elephant. Most important thing, if you kill their hippo. If you kill their hippo, I was gonna say you're not sweating it, it turns out I'm still kinda sweating it. Uh, never mind, I'm not sweating it at all. You doubted me. I saw you typing up your comments already. You were saying this this run has no shot. Yeah? Well, no shot this. Can I have some chocolate, please? Uh, the dragonfly is also what I was looking for. We'll take that first, though. And then um, maybe you could make a tiger work there, but we're, we're about to get some extra space on the squad. Now, our squad stats are not that good. It's my impression this weekly so far that, you know, it's not like on round 10, you're running up against exclusively 50-50s, okay? So, like, we, we may have a little bit more leeway this week to get away with having a slightly weaker squad that maybe has cooler abilities actually, like, on the, on the text. An alpaca? Can I... Would you allow me to go crazy mode? Do I have your permission to go crazy mode? Buy an alpaca, sell your dragonfly, buy guinea fowl, give it the XP, get a level 3 guinea fowl. The second alpaca will not work. Um, let's, let's roll a tiger for now, and we'll talk about just getting like another alpaca out there. I mean, to get like a level 2 alpaca would allow us to pivot the squad easily if things run into trouble. This hippo is going to eat us alive. It takes so long for the dog to come out. <laughs> it's all right. It, in such a cool weekly, some people just can't help themselves. They're just, you know, as they see a hippo, they take a hippo. It's, uh, I don't want to call it a problem with their character. I'm just, I'm not trying to insinuate anything weird like that. You know what's interesting? What if I sold bot and then just work with me here? You're at the tier sixes, that's right, okay. It's a little crazy. Watch this. Sell me, buy me. Don't you become a tier two instantly? You do, okay. <laughs> we could have also just bought it and had it become a tier two, but this way we got one extra... Uh, we got the same amount of experience, but we got one extra gold out of it. I don't know if that's very smart. Um, shark's always good, but it's not that fun. Neither is Scorpion, to be real with you, but... It could get us out of a pinch. And we're not worried about wasting the alpaca charge. If you don't use it, you lose it. You ever hear that one? I would say sensible start. We win this one for sure. I have no concept, by the way, if we're going to 10. I just, uh, I'm just a guy. I will say, it seems like we don't really need our, our level 2 tiger working with a level 3 guinea fowl, but... We have you come out here. And then, you know, well, in that case, why don't we sell you and sell you? I mean, I'm, I'm just cooking here. This might be a terrible decision. Now you're a level two. 
you're a level two. Which has me wanting to combine you into a level three. We don't really need another alpaca out there. Have you? We've already used both of our triggers this turn. So just to have something that's like reasonably effective as a one-off would be nice. I'm assuming that level three alpaca gives three XP, which is not nearly as meaningful as two. Let's just, I mean, basically if the hammerhead shark lives, this is three gold for us. And I, I mean, we're, we're cooking up one of the strangest teams I've ever run here. They've already got 50-50, so that's pretty unfortunate for us. <laughs> that's pretty heinous. We're going to lose. Interesting. Weird, uh, weird yak. Wait, note to self, don't write off the weird yak. Still had fun with that one, though. It wasn't just like we didn't get the scalers and thus lost. Cockroach moth goes crazy. You might say, why not, uh, why not give the cricket a chance? This week, I have, uh, I've very much found, on my phone at least, that everybody runs iguana. Now, of course, they're not running Iguana now, when it would make me look like a genius, but Iguana and, and Royal Flycatcher seem reasonably popular. So as a result, I'm kind of trying to... I'm staying back. I'm saying, whoa! I'm saying, whoa! We don't know if that's where we want to go. You know what? We're, we're not going to buy two beetles. We're, we have a blessed situation where we can get rid of our Tier 1s quick, just by combining them. So like, but let's not stress out too much. Look at this. We're looking great. Drew's Poos, what a name. What a name and what a game. All the best. A snail? Not, not that relevant. Doorhead Ant, just a, a great unit, I think, in and of itself. And you know what? The Dodo at least has some... Uh, it's got some potential. You could scale a Dodo and then have it, you know, like give its stats to a, a, a more meaningful unit. Hey, look at this, two iguanas. Remember when everybody said, what are you talking about with the iguanas? I told you that everybody runs iguanas in this game. Okay, it's two wins. We're right on the, on the cusp of other teams getting stronger than us. We'll just try to stay ahead. I think we can run Pug just, just cause, really. And I honestly, like broccoli on a doorhead ant, why not? Maybe set it up like that. The doorhead ant is gonna be pretty strong as is though. It's one of the least favorable trades in my life. One of the most unfavorable trades in my life. Okay, your salamander got you there. You did, you did good, good work with your salamander. I've been too much of a coward to run it so far. Let me get, give me, let me get a level. Skunk just goes crazy. Run a skunk and put a weasel out here just to farm some extra gold. Now, I think Doorhead Ant beats you for now, so we take a skunk. Moth, you're staying for now. Nobody needs garlic on this team right now, which is a scary thought, because garlic is, like, so transformative itself. We could put garlic on a cockroach, but then you're like, dude, why am I, why am I giving this much value to a cockroach, right? Seems like a waste. You're not gonna die! You are gonna die! You gave us the gold! Okay, it's like perfectly placed. You? And you? Cockroach doesn't need the level. Royal Flycatcher could probably come out, but I'm gonna snooze on it. I'm gonna take a level two. Maybe this is our hippo chance. Maybe this is a hip opportunity. And the weasel right now is, is doing good work. I've also got to say that our... Uh, our doorhead ant is doing great work, but it, it may not last forever. And uh, well, really, everything on the squad is working in perfect harmony. For the time being. I think you gotta go. Doorhead ant just clears you, no disrespect. Take this, take this. Holy <laughs> No pills, so we can't use a banana to just like generate a monkey. Maybe some cans. Cans might be a way to scale. There's, there might be a back to synergy in here. We got some dromedaries in the squad. We got some... It's a scary team, bro. It is a scary team. We got some dromedaries in the squad. We got cans in the shop. I don't know if it's going to be right for this team, but it is what it is. Now, I'm sorry to do this, but the, the unit that has to go right now is the moth, which is a scary thought in and of itself. 
A vulture? We're not really built for vulture. It doesn't mean we couldn't change it, but... This is a tough one. Would you rather give 1-2 to the hippo or plus 1 health to your whole squad? I would rather give plus 1 health to the whole squad. But I, it's the kind of thing, like, that's not an incredible purchase. <laughs> I don't think we're really, uh, we, we really improved upon ourselves all that much. We did kill their hippo, though, which is crazy. Their dog didn't get that strong. That team looked so much better than mine. And yet, oh, but we didn't lose the... Bro, you gotta die! You gotta die! You can't win that easily! Skunk me. Um, skunk me. Dinosaur me. There's some relevant foods here. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go crazy mode. It's not dinosaur, by the way, it's sauropod. Get it right. Okay, what are the, what are your next steps? Um, sell the doorhead ant, probably. It's had a long time to get where it needed to go and it didn't get there. Um, give, all, buy the cow, give all the food buffs to the hippo. I mean, I literally just insulted someone for doing the exact same thing. Said, it, with, with all the meta diversity this week, you're really gonna run hippo? Yeah, but last time I got eight wins and I probably took some heat for it. So now, now I am the danger, Skylar or whatever. I haven't seen Narcos. I know it's Breaking Bad. I'm just messing with you, okay? You just fell for the oldest ruse. I snooze these. There's just there's just monkeys in the pack. Just Buffy thusly. Um, I'll buy a can now, even though we could wait a little bit and get a refund. It's not like we wanted to buy any of those, I think. So we'll just get our, our reroll from the shop here. What do you got going on here? It's, it, it's an insane strat. Random friend? Yeah, classic Donnie Darko meme. Is it random friend or is it the elephant again? Oh, because he's got the donut. That's a genius play. Holy cow. My word. You know what? While we're here, can me? Can me? Pop me out. We probably got to say that the weasel's got to go. Let's take a, a relatively big walrus. I'm kind of feeling like I just enjoy an orca. Start a battle, we would spit out an 8-8 dog. It's nothing too special. Not yet, anyway. Roll me. Sure. I mean, an 11-9 that gives death touch is serving death touch vibes. Nothing wrong with that, man. Our hippo would be munching like crazy right now at the front, though. No doubt about that. It's still going to be munching like crazy. Is there a, a faster fast-forward button? I'm not trying to be a hater or whatever, but I'm pretty sure that we, we got this one unlocked. I've seen the, the hippo versus shark match up many times, many times in my life. Many people are saying the shark would simply take a bite out of the hippo and it would bleed out. Its internal organs would spill out all over. I say, no, you haven't seen a hippo. It's one of the fastest aquatic mammals in the world. You haven't seen its skin would simply repel the bite of the shark regardless of the bite force. Let me get a level two walrus. I'm not like the other girls. When I take a walrus, I stick with the walrus. That means we can't really fit a cow on the squad, though. Unless we were to sell an orca. Buy a cow, because it's just like, it's just really good. And then feed you, because it's like so important. And then sell you. Roll once. We're looking for another cow. We don't get one. You know what we do? We buy an orca. I'm probably undervaluing carrots, but like... A plus one. Oh my god, what a squad, dude. Look at this dragonfly squad. I'm insulted that your team is so good. Um, we're going to be on lethal. We might debase ourselves for hippo and then only get seven wins. Chocolates, please. I can't. I can't bring myself to do it. I'm going to trust in myself. Wow! <laughs> I'm gonna trust in myself for this one. It's a royal flush, man! Don't, don't screw me. Thank you, thank you for the skunk. What the heck was that? 
They went they went super super lethal. Armadillo is not gonna be strong enough. He had the royal flush and everything. <laughs> that hurts, that hurts me. I was thinking about selling the sauropod, but I don't think that would have saved us in, in that particular battle anyway. Alright, run it back. Be a blue leg. If you got one of those and you are not Nebula from uh, Guardians of the Galaxy slash the Avengers, you're in trouble, brother. I gotta tell you, if, if you're not Nebula, you're in trouble. Hang on, I'm just checking a message here. Okay, every, everything sounds great. No, no sweat. Let me get an iguana just as anti-cricket technology. I'm not sweating the first round loss. It's been known to happen. Two iguanas is, uh, sorry, two uh, cockroaches is overkill. We should run the one four in front though and the two four behind because we're all, it's, it's such overkill. See, look, they did the right thing. But wait, but wait. The anti-cricket technology. One iguana is all it takes. Isn't that like the Joker tagline? All it takes is one bad day. These are two three fours, man. I'm keeping them out here. All we need is a five. Everybody in the car. So come on, let's ride to the liquor store around the corner. The boys say they want some gin and juice, but I really don't want to. I'm just going to... And this is all theory crafting. But it seems like equipment in the late game plays a big role. If we could justify... Uh, taking a, the, and I'll admit it straight up, if we could justify taking the dead weight of a level 2 raccoon to round 4 or 5 when the equipment starts to matter more. That felt nice. Then I'm, I'm a-okay with that. I don't think we need a pug yet. Oh, dude, we're gonna, holy cow, I don't know what we're doing here. Um... Do, 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 something like that makes sense to me. New goal for the moment, don't lose. Winning is uh, preferable. Not losing, acceptable. Wow, what a win. Imagine not having the skill to get a, uh, a royal flycatcher in the shop instead of an iguana. Kinda sus. I think you have to go. Because we are we saw the power of dragonflies. And then I think, I mean, this, the moth is so good, man. At least at this stage, the moth is like really important. I think the royal flycatcher is not that important. It would be nice if our that's kind of what I was hoping for. It would be nice if the um That's fine. It would be nice if our raccoon got buffed instead of our moth. But I think it's worth keeping the moth around for now. Please steal the chili peppers. I'm not, it's not gonna happen. That's the most toasted I've ever seen someone be on like round five. It was disgusting, quite frankly. Come by me, stat me a little bit. Level me regardless, we love that. And honestly, I would totally take an antelope. Um, just... Just to, I mean, I know that the antelope can give us some econ. We need to not lose so that our raccoon can steal some death touch. But you know there's going to be a lot of death touch going around late in the, in the games here. It could take out two death touch units by itself if it's got enough, if it's got enough stats. Of course, world's worst freeze. Man drops worst freeze of all time. Asked to apologize. Shh. I know this is insane, but I just, I like the value of what two goats brings to the table here. Then immediately, can I tell you what I was thinking? Oh good, a dragonfly. Um, just gonna pop, I should have, well, you know what, we can still do it. We pop you up one so that we get more trumpets out of this. Now we got raccoon at the front, which is dangerous, but he's not gonna steal the meat and that's gonna like run through our whole squad. It's gonna run through the whole squad. We weren't off by much there, though. We just if there if the raccoon could have lived slightly longer, which honestly, I mean, I don't want to feed him some broccoli because that's like insulting. Instead, I'm gonna feed him a salad. <laughs> it's 
even more insulting. You're rolling me down. I'm sorry to inform you that I am not going to be buying my raccoon yet. I'm going to be waiting one more round because I, I think we still got this. Naively enough, I think we still got it. What? Vulture! Oh, brother. We draw these. I'll take that. And now the raccoon. I mean, I was expecting to be in a better position, to be quite frank with you. Now I need you to pop, man. I see that we got possible T-Rex strats there, but if, as far as I'm concerned, if you're in for a penny, you're in for a pound. And then we run Lioness and just, I don't know, maybe, maybe we keep these two frozen and that, that gives us a potential dromedary. Lioness can pivot later. I'm kind of going aimless right now, but chili me. Bro, for the first time ever, I got uh, like a benefit from our raccoon. That is insanely bullish. The amount of bullish, I can't, I can't even... I'm bullish like Jim Cramer just told me a recession is imminent. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just joking. I don't really... Listen, we don't get into it. Uh, roll me. It's, I mean, it, to me, it seems like you'd have to be stupid not to... I would even sell one of these guys. And just toss out a level 2 Triceratops ASAP. A 14-15 is no joke itself. You're not lasting too much longer. Obviously, a hammerhead shark does do something for us. And we could put like a donut on the raccoon so that it gets all the buffs from the Triceratops. And then it fell apart. We're going to be on lethal. Even if we lose here, which is like fairly likely, you got to be honest. Like we're cooking. We might not be cooking you know, anything that impressive. But we're, we're cooking something. We're not just running... I know I sold one too, that's painful, but we're not just running, you know, the same detritus over and over. We're, we're, we're cooking something interesting here. I'm screwed. Unless I steal your garlic, it's not relevant that I steal your garlic. It's not relevant. We're still screwed. You got a 16-16 dog that clears my whole squad just by itself? Okay. Either way, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. We, we, had some, we had some nifty runs. We had some normal runs. And I had a good time. See you next time.